We're asked to use 3D graphing software to graph the functions of two variables. To graph the surfaces, we will be using the 3D Calc Plotter from the NSF Exploring Multivariable Calculus website, which is shown here. And there are two options. This first link is for the 3D Calc Plotter that requires Java, which will not work in all browsers. We'll be using the second option, which is the 3D Calc Plotter JavaScript app, which works in most browsers as well as phones and tablets. Let's graph our first surface. After opening the app, this is the default surface that is graphed, given by the function shown here on the left. Notice how we can rotate and manipulate this surface any way that we want. Let's graph the first function, which is f of x comma y equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus 2y squared. So we'll go ahead and clear the current function and enter sqrt for square root, open parenthesis, x to the second plus 2 times y to the second, close parenthesis, and press enter or click graph. Here's the graph of the surface. Let's look at some of the options that we have. If we click on these double arrows, it resets the app. The next button, this button here, will clear the graph. We can graph it again by clicking the equation of the function here. The plus and minus, zoom in and zoom out. If we click the plus, notice how the scaling on the axis has changed. We just zoomed in. We click on the minus, we zoom out. This button here is if you have 3D goggles or 3D glasses. Notice how it changes the view of the graph. This magnifying glass changes the transparency of the surface. Notice right now it's solid. If I click on the magnifying glass, it's now transparent. If I click it again, it's back to solid. The E and F also change the way the surface is graphed. Let's graph our second function, which is f of x comma y equals 1 divided by the quantity 1 plus x squared plus y squared. So we'll go ahead and clear this function. Enter 1 divided by, open parenthesis, 1 plus x to the second plus y to the second, close parenthesis, and enter or click graph. And here's the graph of our second surface. If we want to save the graph as a PNG file, we click on these three horizontal bars, click File, and click Save the Plot as a PNG. Of course, we can also just snip the graph from the screen. Instead of zooming in and out using the magnifying glass, we can also adjust the axes manually by making changes here. Let's go and graph our third function, which is f of x comma y equals sine x. We enter sine x, enter. Let's go ahead and zoom out a couple times. And this is the graph of f of x comma y equals sine x. Our fourth function is f of x comma y equals y squared. We clear sine x and enter y squared. Hopefully you recognize some of the names of these surfaces. Remember, if we want to have a transparent surface, we click the magnifying glass, and it makes the surface transparent. And our last function is f of x comma y equals the quantity x minus y squared. Let's go ahead and zoom out. So if we wanted to reset the app, we would press these double arrows. It is going to graph the original function, but again, we can just change it which again is f of x comma y equals the quantity x minus y squared. And here's the graph of our last surface. Let's make it transparent and let's zoom out. I hope you found this helpful.